Hey everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. Today we are going to discuss very important question that I have been asked many times and I thought I'll create a detailed video with proof that it is possible to get IT job without computer science or IT degree. So even if you are from some other background, whether it's BCom or Bachelor of Arts or any other degree that you hold, it is absolutely possible to get an IT job job and there are so many IT profiles. There is software testing, there is software development, there is business analysis, project management. There are n number of possibilities out there in software industry, in IT industry and it is absolutely possible to get an IT job without computer science or IT degree. Now why is it possible? The reason being IT is no more confined to only computer and technical domains. It has moved towards all the industry. So everywhere you go, there is an IT system, whether it's supermarket, whether it's education, whether it's agriculture, whether it's medical, everywhere you will see the IT systems are there. Now, when the IT systems are there everywhere, the companies need expertise of each and every domain. And that's where these IT companies now need to hire people from every background and every degree. And and that's where there is a possibility and there is no reason that you should not be getting job if you're not from computer science or IT degree background. Now I'll explain this question in detail with actual proof that computer science degree and IT degree is not required and there are advertisements on the job sites that I'm going to show you. I'll show you some of the job sites. So one of the major job sites in India and one in Australia. Okay, so let me go to this particular website. So this Nokri.com is very famous and popular website in India. And say, for example, you are looking for a job in IT, right? So as I am into software testing, so I will show you that how you can get a software testing job, which is an IT job. Or if you want to look for software development, you can do the similar search, right? So let's quickly go for software testing jobs. Okay. And then you can select the location and experience, but I'll just keep it generic as of now and then click on search. Okay. So it will filter out all the software testing job and, and then I'll apply some of the filters to show you that companies no more require the degrees which are only specific to engineering, right? So if I see here, you will see that this particular company is looking for specific B, B tech, MC, M tech, right? MSc. So this might be, you know, specific to technology or specific to very technical role. But how you are going to find out the job or the companies which do not require any specific engineering degree. So what you do is in the filters, we'll simply here we'll say education is any postgraduate, right? And undergraduate. Okay. So let me choose any graduate. Okay. So now all the posts that you see are the posts or the job posts that do not require specific computer science or IT degree. So this is the test engineer job, manual and automation, right? And a Bangalore job. So let's see what exactly they are looking for. And at the moment, I'm not filtering this only for the freshers, but this is just to show you that even if you are not from computer science and IT degree, absolutely possible to reach at the same level as other candidates who are from computer science and IT degree. Okay. So basically, you will see that here in the education, they are looking for any graduate and any postgraduate, right? And what matters in these cases is basically the experience and what you know, right? So that's the important thing. Now, companies do not bother whether you are coming from computer science background or IT background or B B commerce, right? Or Bachelor of Arts. As far as you know, Eclipse, you know, a little bit of programming, you know, the tools and technologies that they are asking here, they are happy to hire you, right? So that's the important thing that you need to remember that this is how you are going to find the job that is appropriate, which is not only specific for computer science and IT degree or engineering degree. Okay, so you'll see that there are so many results out here and you can sort them by the location as well. Say, for example, Bangalore or Pune or anywhere in India, you can filter those and you can start applying for the relevant jobs that will be helpful for you to get into the software testing. Right now, this is about software testing. Now, let's say I am looking for software development job, right? So or a software developer. So let me search for that. And here you will see that we have 
have software developer filter so i'll filter it based on the any pro post graduate and any graduate and then open this particular post here okay so soft senior software developer this is in the simmons and if i open this particular position it is not specifically asking for people who are from the engineering background you see it is basically looking for any graduate and any post graduate as far as you have these skills right okay now here you will see that they are looking for engineering degree I mean, so this is not a position so even though they have post here that any graduate and post graduate is fine but here they have mentioned that they are looking for engineering degree you can safely discard this no need of applying there okay look for some other position so if i click on this one here you will see that any graduate and postgraduate and we'll see we'll search for degree here so we'll see if they are looking for any specific degree right so nothing there and then nothing related to computer science right so you can see the job description as far as you know what they are looking for nlp library r studio python neural network so mostly these are the topics that you can learn even if you're from any other background you can easily learn software testing can be easily learned in engineering you are not taught a lot about software testing after engineering you learn so many students that come out of the college in india they start learning practical software testing by joining some of the training institutes and after that they start getting job or applying for the job unless you are from very premier institute of india like iits right where there are so many companies trying to hire you so that's a different case but then 95 percent of the population of india or engineers in india are from tier 2 or other colleges so it's not just that only iit and i am people are getting job everyone is getting job right so people who are getting job they have one thing in common they believe in themselves and they do not hesitate to learn new things even if they are coming from different background right so this is a real proof that it is absolutely possible so i have shown you about software testing and software development now in it there are so many other profiles as well for example business analyst right so business analyst you can search so depending on what your expertise and what your interest is you can go ahead and search for different roles i'll create a separate video on what all job roles are available in it even if you're not from the it background which you can basically target for depending on your interest and enthusiasm to learn those things before you apply for the job right so this is one of the india's biggest website now coming to australia as i'm in australia so even in australia i have seen degree is not asked too much right it's very rare that you will be asked from which background or what is your educational background whether it's you know engineering or whether it's from arts or commerce in australia and i i believe it's similar in uh, it might be similar in us and uk i'm not too aware of those market as well but here in australia and especially in new zealand you need to know the technology the skill set that they are asking for and they do not ask or the recruiters or the employees employers do not ask for your past degrees and your education basically which background you are coming from so say for example let me search for test analyst job here okay and this is a software testing job so if i click on um, seek so seek is one of the big job search website here in australia as well so here you will see that senior test specialist right so if i open this particular job you will see that nowhere do the mention about the education that you are required to have right so most very rare they'll be asking for what sort of education you have whether you have engineering degree or not unless until it is basically highly related job which requires you to be from the engineering background right so here you they are just looking for functional and automation testing familiarity with jira as your devops etc so all of these things that they are asking for can be learned right this is nothing that you learn in any engineering degree or in your bachelor of arts degree or in bachelor of commerce or in 
medical, right? So you don't learn about Jenkins, you don't learn about Azure DevOps unless and until this curriculum gets added or this is the part of the new curriculum, right? So now the curriculums are getting changed. There is more programming exposure in the engineering degrees and similar is with Master of Science in IT. So these exposure are there in some computer science and IT degree, but that doesn't mean that if you are not exposed in your bachelor's of, of arts degree to these technologies and programming languages, you can't learn it, right? Even if you do not learn programming languages, there are so many other profiles in IT that you can choose which do not require programming at all okay so this is briefly what i wanted to discuss in this video that it is absolutely possible to get an it job without computer science or it degree especially in software testing i have some of my colleagues who are from bcom some of them are from bachelor of arts and working in test automation what unique they had is they had the keenness to learn new technology and they wanted to come into the IT field. Okay. I would also like to share one of my most recent example. One of my friend is from the shipping background. He had been into the shipping industry for long and there he was into Salesforce. He got little bit exposure into Salesforce and then he tried to learn Salesforce. So from there, he started building Salesforce skills. He did certification and he recently cracked a job into an IT industry as a Salesforce consultant, right? So even though he was not absolutely from the technical background, he was an MBA, he was doing some other job. He had this keenness to learn that particular tool because he got the opportunity while he was working in an industry that it is possible to learn this tool and make a move to IT and he was able to make a move to IT, right? So belief in yourself is important along with keenness and ability to grasp new things and not saying that I won't be able to learn new things, right? So learning is lifelong. It is part and parcel of the life and we need to learn and we will be there wherever we want to go, right? So that's all for this particular video i hope you'll find it helpful if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe for more content like this along with the tutorial videos and course videos that i keep posting regularly so thank you very much for watching